Good morning and welcome to Agape Christian Worship Center's uh, morning devotion. I am Minister Jerry Flagg. And I'm Minister Walter Flagg. And today we're going to be talking about the trial of our faith. And we're going to be reading from 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 3 through 7. Amen. And the scripture reads, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance that is incorruptible, undefiled, and does not fade away and is reserved in heaven for you who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. Wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness, through manifold temptations, that the trial of your faith, being much more precious than gold that perishes, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise, honor, and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 You know, in reading this scripture, when we look at verse 4, I think about um, what's going on today, how people are hoarding things that only have an earthly value. And I wonder if they are taking as much stock in eternal things, if they are ex as concerned about their soul. Yes. Amen. So can you expound a little bit about that inheritance that is incorruptible, um, is undefiled, and does not fade away? Amen. The inheritance that God has for it is a, a possession, a reward Amen. that he has just for us. Yes. And, and incorruptible means mm -hmm. that it's immortal. Mm -hmm. It's immortal. It's imperishable. Mm -hmm. And undefiled means it's pure, uncontaminated. And if fade if not away means it won't decay, it Amen. won't it won't die, it won't fade away. And it's immortal and eternal in the heavens that God has a reward just for us. Amen. What is that reward? That reward to me is him, himself, yes. and our salvation, being yes. in his presence, yes. being in his glory. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. And then when it talks about us or speaks about us being kept by the power of God. Yes, <laughs> being kept by the power of God. There's nothing... Nothing more beautiful, nothing more powerful than be kept by the power of God. Nothing can take or snatch you away Amen. when you're kept by the power Amen. of God. And that means that God has angels encamped about us, our bedsides, our everywhere we go. It goes before us, it goes behind us, it, it protects us, it, yes. it heals us, it yes. provides for us. Yes. God is so good that he, he just he does everything that we need for him to do. He's a great I Amen. am. Amen. Amen. That power that it speaks of, it is, you know, the same power that raised Christ from the dead. It yes. is that same power yes. that uh, is in force when he is fighting on our behalf. Yes, Amen. Lord. Yes. Amen. Yes. That's the Deutimus yes. power of God. That's the exousia power of God. Amen. Yes. Amen. And it says that um, the inheritance that we have that uh, will manifest itself in the last times, we rejoice in that. Yes, we but do. But yes, in the do. midst of our rejoicing, it also says that um, there's going to be a season, a season yes. of manifold yes. temptations. So can you talk about that a little bit? Yes. And right now we're in that season. Mm -hmm. We're going through that season, this time of of temptation, the time of being tried, amen. And that's with the with the coronavirus that's going about and other situations. Even in the midst of that, I'm sure that others have different trials and tribulation that they're being faced with. Yes. But when the enemy comes in like a flood, God is so faithful that he will raise up a standard, standard against amen. him by his spirit, by the spirit yes. of the true and living God. Amen. We thank you, Father. We yes, thank you for that, we do. Lord. And then in verse uh, 7, that's the verse that's going to bring it home when it is talking about the trying of our faith being tried with fire. And when we go through that fire, we come out and we give praise, honor, and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. Come on and talk Amen. about that. Amen. <laughs> be tried by fire, the gold. 
It says that God says that we'll be refined as pure gold. When we go through the fire, that fire is the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit which will reprove of, of, reproves us of sin. Amen. And it turns us back to him yes. when we're faced with trials. The devil wants to break us. The devil wants to destroy us. But we know that God, God doesn't want to break us. No, God doesn't, doesn't want to destroy no, us. He, he just wants us to bring him, bring us into his presence yes. because what he desires is worship. What he desires is fellowship. Mm -hmm. What he desires is for us to return the love that he gave us, for us to give it back to him. Amen. So in, in that fire that God, he's making us, he's proving us, he's, he's, he's shaking things off of us, he's, he's uh, <coughs> uh, 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 just removing all kinds of weight that we're carrying Amen. that we don't need to carry. And so God... He, he's teaching us to set our affections on things that are above and not on things in this earth, not to look down, but to look up from whence our help cometh, to look in unto Jesus, and the author and the finisher of our faith. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, in other words, um, trials is God's way of bringing us to completion. Yes, it is. Yes, Amen. It is. Amen. Yes, because he's doing a work in us. We're, we are his workmanship. <clears throat> yes. We are his vessels of honor. So yes. God is bringing us to that point because he knows that, that, that right now that we need to be refined and made in his image. Mm -hmm. So he's bringing us more into his image every day. Amen. So, Amen. That's, uh, Those trials, that's that time when uh, he wants us to be still and Amen. know that he is God. Yes. And so yes. in these trying times, we as believers, um, as the minister said, we need to set our affections upon Christ. Yes. We yes. need to take this time to yes. draw closer to him, yes, to have do. a deeper relationship yes. Yes. with him, to hide yes. ourselves in him, see him as our shelter, our strong tower. Yes. Amen. And God doesn't want us to have a casual relationship. Amen. He wants an intimate relationship yes. with him. He wants a, a loving relationship with him. So we need to we need to just put off all those things that distract us and concentrate on him because when we look under him, every situation looks small. Amen. It, it's small in our sight. Yes. yes. Amen. Yes. Well, praise God. Our time has come to an end and we pray that you have been blessed by this time of devotion. We are going to go ahead and uh, close in prayer. Amen. Heavenly Father, we yes. just bless your holy name today. We thank, thank you, you so much, Father, thank for you. reminding us that in the midst of trials, we yes. are to look unto you, Father God. We are to trust in you. We are to run to you. Yes. We are to develop yes. a stronger yes. relationship with you, Father yes. God. And as we are closer to you, Lord God, then that helps us to be a, a, a support and a beacon for our families, Lord yes. God. Thank and you, so, Father, Father God, thank I pray pray right now in the name of Jesus yes. that those who know you Father God they will take this time to get closer yes. those that don't know you Father God draw yes, them Lord. by your Holy yes, Spirit Father, we Lord. love you we honor you and we praise you it is in Jesus most holy name that we pray amen, amen. and amen, amen. Hallelujah. God yes. bless you all we love you yes, we love and you. looking forward to being with you the yes. next time Mwah. amen <laughs>